Hello, in today's video I'm gonna be talking about my new Philips 1200 fully automatic espresso machine. Hello again, so for the past 15 years I've been enjoying <coughs> great espresso machine this is the one that I've used since 2009 so this one has already 13 years it's psycho a decade ago it just died something is wrong with the grinder I'm gonna try to still fix it uh, it was still about $500 in 2009 so after so many years of having good coffee you cannot just go back to curing or just uh, dripping coffee so I just bought this Philips and I'm gonna be talking about this one today. I was watching a bunch of videos about different espresso machines, uh, especially Philips. Uh, Philips actually bought Psycho in 2009 and if you look inside, the machine from made by Philips looks exactly the same as Psycho. I just wanna show you one component that, that will show you uh, how similar they are. Inside of the machine, is this thing which moves and basically does all the job of uh, brewing the coffee. This is what is inside of my cycle. It's exactly the same thing. So Philips bought cycle. It's exactly the same machine, it just looks a little bit different. And most espresso machines on the market basically have the same components. So it's very easy to fix them if you have any problem. Your espresso machine comes with very good instructions that have basically all possible situations for you to be addressed and then also very useful graphics that will allow you to fully understand what's going on with your coffee machine. So all you have to do is just put a full bean coffee on top. There's also a small compartment on the top where you can put actually grounded coffee already. A basic uh, model difference is, is that this is 1200 model. If you want to buy 2200, you're just gonna get extra like a silver type of uh, uh, finish on the uh, outside. There's nothing different except uh, look. Uh, 3200 uh, or 3000 series have a little bit more buttons. So you have extra options of brewing uh, different uh, types of beverages. Another huge misconception that I kept hearing on uh, different reviews is that this button will give you a uh, different strength. It's like uh, light roast, medium roast and uh, dark roast. Totally wrong. So this button has nothing to do with uh, how your coffee is roasted. Do yourself a favor and just Google what the difference is between a light roast, medium roast and dark roast. I thought exactly the same as everybody else that dark roast coffee is the most strongest. It's totally wrong. Uh, I went to Costa Rica uh, a couple of years ago and I took a tour in a coffee plantation where the guy explained that the light roast coffee has the most amount of coffee. Dark roast coffee has the least amount of coffee. So if you think about how strong the coffee is in terms of thinking about the caffeine, caffeine level then you're totally wrong. So light roast coffee is the most expensive one and has the most amount of caffeine. And then the dark roast coffee uh, has the least amount of caffeine. Okay, so, and also people think that because of dark roast coffee is gonna taste a little bit more better, it has more strength, has nothing to do with it. The difference is that the longer you roast the coffee, the uh, better it becomes. And also, the cheapest coffee is always dark. Uh, good quality coffee mostly is light roast and is the most expensive one. Why? Well, because it's good quality. When you taste light roast coffee, you will actually feel the bouquet of the, and the flavor of your coffee. Whereas with dark roast coffee, uh, it's just the cheapest one. They just want to kill the taste. So in a dark roast coffee, you really have that bitterness that you think that gives you the strength but it's actually the cheapest coffee you can get. So like I said before, this aroma button has nothing to do with the light, medium or dark roast coffee. 
it is well explained right here and you can see that aroma button basically allows more or less water to go through the coffee uh, and this will ext extract more flavor so when you choose less aroma you will have a little bit less water going through if you choose more aroma there's gonna be a little bit more water going through the same amount of coffee extracting more flavor and self-explanatory more or less water will of course give you smaller or bigger beverage another very important thing that I need to mention do not ever use the dark roast coffee in uh, automatic uh, espresso machines why because the dark roast coffee is always the uh, most oily and sooner or later it will clog your grinder and uh, your machine is gonna be dead I actually did that mistake when I bought my first cycle uh, years ago and within six months the grinder was totally stuck so never use the uh, dark coffee use only medium or light roast or you can use uh, the coffee uh, that is grounded already through that compartment right here so now let me give you a couple of close-ups the main reason I chose this machine is that it's very compatible and uh, with my cycle and also it has this translucent side where you can see the level of your water when you remove this uh, part some of the uh, Philips machines uh, come with the filter that goes inside so you don't need to descale as often now to get access to the brewing part uh, that moves you have this door now to remove it you push this button pull that out and you need to clean it periodically I do it about once a week you need to make sure there are no leftovers coffee and I have another video I'm gonna give you a link in the description of this video on how to clean this part so here's the lid cover for your coffee here's where you put your uh, full uh, bean coffee and then everything goes down to the grinder right here you have also adjustment of the strength of your coffee here's where this is important uh, when your machine comes out of the factory is usually set up to perfect uh, state but after a while you may want to have a little bit more stronger coffee so how do you achieve that if you you can see you have 12 different steps of grinding process so you have uh, the least amount of grinding and the most amount of grinding you need to turn it right now I have it set kind of in the middle uh, if you grind the most then the coffee beans are going to have the most amount of contact with the steam that is coming out of the uh, uh, hot water tank in an espresso machine that's how you extract the most amount of strength if you don't want your coffee to be super strong you set it to the least amount of uh, grinding power so then it's gonna be very coarse this is the space where you dump your ground coffee and after you dump your coffee right here it gets straight to that uh, plastic uh, container that compacts everything the espresso machine comes with this scoop so when you use your ground coffee you have to put leveled ground coffee right here and only one scoop so why you have to use only one scoop because once you dump it right here it ends up right here and there is space only for one scoop of coffee now when you turn your machine on first it will go through a cycling process where it's gonna have to clean the nozzles and you will see the lights rotating it will take about a minute before it does this comparing to my old cycle I would say this machine is about 50% quieter than my old cycle so it starts super quiet but it's a little bit quieter than my old cycle and right now the nozzles are being cleaned the clean of the nozzles also is done after you're done with brewing your coffee now I'm going to brew a cup of coffee and I'm just gonna use this uh, container so you can see how much coffee uh, I'm gonna actually get it so I'm going to choose uh, not espresso but regular coffee so I'm gonna push one 
Now we have a couple of options. You can choose between one or two coffee. So I'm going to choose one coffee. And this is the uh, aroma extraction. So you have one, two or three options. If you hold the button a little bit longer, you will get an option of just the grounded coffee. So this is the button that you really have to pay attention to. And now this is how much water you want to be dispensed in with your coffee. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to choose the most amount of aroma. And I'm going to choose, for example, let me start with one small coffee. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to click. Okay. Now the coffee is getting grounded. And now we're gonna wait until the coffee is gonna be dispensed. You can also move this up and down so you don't have spills. So as you can see for this setting we got about a little bit less than four ounces of liquid. So right now let's brew an espresso. So I'm gonna choose one espresso and we're gonna go to the lowest setting and medium extraction of the aroma and I'm gonna click start so as you can see for single shot espresso we have about one ounce of coffee and now this is a good example I just got indicated that I should add a little bit more water there is still maybe about an inch but this is the good indicator that uh, will tell you uh, add some water this uh, indicator will tell you that you need to empty uh, the ground the coffee that is was dumped into the compartment and then and there is another one when there's gonna be some other informations this will tell you when you need to clean or do the scaling of your machine if you have an aqua clean filter this will also tell you that i don't have this filter so i don't have to worry about it and now i'm gonna show you how much espresso we're gonna get when you choose double espresso so i'm gonna choose double i'm gonna use the same uh aroma strength and smallest uh water in that espresso so i'm gonna Start and let's see how much we're gonna get on double espresso. So we got one ounce and basically the machine is doing this for the second time. So double espresso will go through the cycle twice. So machine grounds the coffee each time we choose espresso and it goes twice. So right now we got actually a little bit more than two ounces of the espresso when we use the same settings. And this was the coffee that was dumped in the container after espresso was done. I'm actually surprised that the coffee is really not that compacted uh, because I remember when I got my first cycle it was really nice thick uh, rounded circles of the of the coffee not such a watery uh, substance like you can see uh, right now. This espresso machine also allows you to change the coffee temperature. I'm not gonna go through that you just have to go through the special sequence and then you just push one of the buttons and you can change the temperature between uh, low, medium and super high. Uh, you can also change the standby time uh, 
which will basically turn off the machine by itself uh, within 15, 30, 60 or 180 minutes. Uh, you also have to do a little combination of the uh, different uh, buttons. There is also one very important uh, thing that I don't understand why instructions don't show it. I had this uh, warning on my old cycle machine and on this one it's just not included. I don't understand why when this is basically the same machine. Once you're going to be making your steam and you're going to be frothing the milk, there is a special thing that you need to do, otherwise you're going to break the machine and it's going to be leaking within a year. So when you want to have a steam coming out of, out of this one, what you need to do is click steam, then we're going to click start button. Then the steam is going to build up in a tank inside of the machine, so I'm just going to put my container so I don't have too much water. And then you will see steam coming in a couple of seconds. What is very important to allow that steam to... So now we can hear the steam building up. You have a little bit of water and then you have a steam. After you're done, you click stop. Now what is very important that right now, that steam is still building up inside of the container. And then if you're not going to release that pressure, sooner or later the uh, rubber gaskets that are inside of that machine will deteriorate and then your whole want is gonna be leaking. That's what I had on my previous machine years ago and I learned it, that you need to read through the instructions and this was in, included in my cycle instructions. It's not in uh, Philips instructions. So what you need to do right now to release the steam, I click hard water and click start. Now you're gonna see that still there's gonna be some steam released and until I see the water coming out, see right now there's still steam coming out of the wham. Now the release, now the pressure is released and I only see water. Now I'm gonna click stop. Now, in my opinion, you can do whatever you want. Now, there is now pressure inside of the, the tank. Now I'm gonna be making coffee or anything else. So I think this is very important to point out for those who want to have this machine for many, many years without any leaks. I also want to point out that the top part of your espresso machine, which is normally like a warmer plate, uh, if you want to warm up your cups, this does not have any heating elements uh, to heat up this area. The heat is created by the steam or by the uh, hot uh, boiling container that is inside of the espresso machine. So with time this surface will get a little bit warm, but this warming plate it does not have any additional separate dedicated uh, warming plates or warming elements. Now, I, have, I have to say that the coffee brewed by this machine is really excellent. What makes this machine different than using dripping machine or even Keurig is that it's just like when you go to the coffee shop, they have big machines that cost thousands of dollars and the whole flavor is totally different than when you brew it on the dripper at home. Why? Because the steam uh, extracts all that flavor of the coffee. Uh, when you use Keurig or you use any dripping coffee, uh, you pour water through the coffee and that steam is not there. So uh, I've tried even the cheapest coffee, 8 o'clock coffee, to uh, brew in my old cycle and the coffee was excellent. So it's not the price of the coffee that you get that makes a difference, but it's the machine that makes it. So you can have a cheapest coffee, tastes really great in uh, espresso machine. I like the automatic version of the espresso machines because all you have to do is just push the button, choose what you want and all you have to do is just add the water and just clean up. I don't like those machines where you have to go and pack and grind the coffee every single time then you have to dump it. I do it once a day and uh, it's just more convenient.